Hi, it's the 15th of April 2018 at 10 a.m. This is my third attempt to do a video this morning. I've got baby magpies, these guys here, okay? And they, um, when they first came on the scene, I feed them little bits of bacon. I chop up the bacon, you know, the, the rind, the rash that goes down the, the side of the bacon, I chop that up into oh, you know, half, half inch squares, one centimetre squares. <clears throat> and I, I throw that out to them. And I've been doing it for a good while now. But, you know, when, when they were first born, it was just, you know, the, the beat, you know, like that. Now they've learnt to warble. So we're going through the next stage of development. And they're so pleased with themselves. Yeah, they love the, you know, did you hear me warble? Yes, I heard you. <laughs> so I just started doing a, a you know, a video. Yeah, so, and so I have, have to give them. But, but, you know, I think they're just showing off to me. Yeah, you know, like children do. Uh, but the other thing we do is, I, you know, I throw the bacon to them in the air. The little game we play is you have to catch it. They have to catch it with their beak. Yeah, they're getting rather good at it, you know. And, it's, and every time they do, yes, you got it. <laughs> just like kids. Yeah, I even got one the other day. He was up up the top, and I threw it in the air, and he flew and caught it. And I was, yes, and it, you know, I'm sure he looked over his shoulder. Yeah, good. Huh? <laughs> Flip off. Yeah, just like kids. Yeah, lovely. Anyway, what I wanted to talk today about was um, a, a conversation I had with, in comments with uh, Captain Bob Smiley. We were talking about God knows what, and he, he made a, a statement about, and I'm paraphrasing here, something about opinions. And he said, yeah, today people, <clears throat> uh, people don't care for the truth. Their opinion is what, you know, what uh, matters. And the most dangerous thing, in his opinion, was that his opinion was that um, yeah, that they believe they're entitled to their their opinion. And when you think about it, it that's what's sold, isn't it? You know, in in the in the world over and over again, you've got you've got people, you know, stores, corporations saying your opinion matters. <laughs> what is your opinion? And I distrust it. I don't know why, because I don't think my opinion could possibly matter that much. Well, I just don't think it does. And when somebody's telling me that it's important, that my opinion's important, I, my first question is, why is it so important? Okay, if, if it's going, yeah, I suppose, you know, it's it's a little bit like the likes and dislikes on, on, on a video. Yeah, it's your opinion. I could be swayed by your opinion. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> I go my own way. But... I could be swayed by your opinion, but but I keep thinking that I'm being asked or being told that my opinion is important, and I'm being told that by an opinion maker. Uh, it sort of seems a bit uh, uh, I can't think of the word Captain Bob would know, but uh, it's it's um, you know I, that's the way I look at it, you know, because really. What I think is happening is the opinion maker wants to wants feedback. He wants to check, he or she wants to check that your opinion matches the, the opinion that they themselves want to form. So yeah, it's important to them to, to make sure that they're getting their you know they're shaping general opinions and attitudes correctly to their to their desire. Yeah, which makes sense, I guess. So yeah, I I I. Uh, I uh, I guess the last time I did that, got caught up in that, was 2003, just prior to the invasion of Iraq. And shortly into it, when we realised there were no weapons of mass destruction, that the whole thing was just a con job. That was about the last time I, uh, I ventured an opinion about anything much. I mean, it's, yeah, well, I actually supported it. I thought, yeah, well, you'd have the intelligence, you know, we don't know anything. You know, I had all those people say, ah, it's all about oil or it's all about this. And I was like, no, I don't think so. You know, it's very large intelligence agencies. I'm, I'm sure that wouldn't just lie. <laughs> How wrong was I? But it was good because, I, you know, I made a stand and I, and I stuck by it. And 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 then along came alt media, thank goodness, because I was stuck. I didn't know where to source my information from. So now I source it all from alt media. And frankly, look, see, there's an example of how... When, when you really look at your opinion, is it your opinion or is it somebody else's opinion? Is it, you know, like my, a lot of my opinions are actually the, the opinions of alt media presenters. Um, you know, 
you know, based, you know, based on the fact that you know the Gulf War, the, the Iraq War was complete bullshit. I went looking for you know something more realistic, yeah, and I talked to what I consider a lot of just ordinary people. I, I watch a lot of ordinary people, and I tend to trust them more than the, you know, the slick, polished uh, corporate news guy who is just feeding propaganda and more propaganda and more propaganda and, and filling your head full of lies and my head full of lies. You know, at least, you know, the, uh, uh, alt media is, yeah, I suppose it's opinion for me. Um, but I tend to, you know, it, it tends to get it right. Whereas corporate media tends to get it wrong. Um, and and apologise for it, you know, years later or sort of, you know, make mention of it years later that maybe we were wrong back then. And then go on to do exactly the same thing again. But, that, but that's, can you see my point? It's, it's, it's. Yeah, the the opinion is actually my opinion is shaped by someone. Someone about the only thing I think is my own opinion. I'm not even sure about this. Uh, I could have heard it somewhere, but it could be mine. It feels like mine, and and it's yeah, my opinion is if uh, we don't develop empathy or no. It, it, empathy is about the only thing that stops us from killing one another. Okay? And that is, seeing it from somebody else's point of view is about the only thing that stops us actually physically killing one another. Uh, you know, if you take Captain Bob's point, yeah, opinions you know, get stronger and so you just keep going and keep going until you give up or until you die. Okay? So... You know, if, if and this is the whole thing with narcissism, they say, you know, if if they can't get you, can't, you know, control you, and that is control your opinion, then they'll destroy you. And that's any number of sites will tell you that's the idea. They'll destroy you. And yeah, so and and that's because there's no empathy. There's no possibility that, um, you know, that that they can see it your way. I mean, it, it's. Like, for example, I still associate with women, but there are a lot of guys, you know, in MGTOW, probably more than half of the guys in MGTOW actually are, are mumps or don't want anything to do with women. I can understand their point of view. I can see it the way they see it, you know, and I don't, I don't disagree with what they're doing or anything else. I don't, I don't think they hate women or anything else like that. They're just, no, that's it. We don't want anything to, more to do with them. I can see it from their point of view. I'd probably like to be able to go that way myself, but I just can't. You know, like so many other men, yeah, I'd probably like to be able to do it, you know, but we just can't or, or don't want to. Well, we just try and find another way first before we have to resort to that. We can go to, you know, to that as, you know, straight up. But, you know, that's the thing. I, I you know, and I wouldn't argue with a, a guy who doesn't want anything to do with women because that's his, his, I can see it from his point of view. I can understand why he's, he's that way. Um, you know, it's it's no longer a win-win situation. It's a win-lose situation. You know, who wants to be in a win-lose situation where the chances are you're going to lose? Uh, you know, so, yeah, I, I don't have a problem with the wide world seeing it that way. So you won't get the argument from me. Uh, and it's... Uh, and, and, and frankly, I don't have an opinion on the right way to do it. I'm going a particular way. If somebody else is going, that's fine, that's them. It's up to them. But I don't have an opinion on whether, I'm not judging them whether they're right or wrong. Because that's what opinions are actually, what, what it is, is judging somebody. And, and there's no short, shortage of judgment in this world. Everybody's judging everybody else. I don't. I, I, you know, I don't judge people. I'm not a judge. Who am I to judge anybody? Yeah, so... Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it just sort of stuck out to me, you know, when when Bob made that mention, when he mentioned that, the, the opinion, you keep going until you win, or, you know, without saying, or, you know, you give up. Yeah, but what he didn't say is, or you die, <laughs> which is a good chance that yeah, we're all going to end up that way shortly, because that seems to be the way the world's going, you know, like, you know, it's just one opinion against the other. Nobody is seeing it from anybody else's point of view. Nobody's trying to, uh, you know, to, to, to see anything. No, I'm not, I, when I say nobody, 
I think the alt media all do an excellent job, and I think people who follow alt media, in all honesty, are trying to find out the truth, trying to find out and, and have a much better idea of what's happening uh, in the world. And, and you know, yesterday, just as an exercise, this is sort of a closing note, but as an exercise, I was, I was, um, I asked a, a bunch of people in a shopping centre, um, you know, just one at a time, and I just said, uh, you know, what, what, what do you think about this third world war thing? And, and the best, the classic answer I got was, oh, well, something had happened, didn't it? You know, oh well. And I, I look at, I, and I, I look at the complacency of the whole thing. And I, I don't think anybody's got any comprehension of the horror that a, that a third world war would actually bring. I, I don't think they've got any... I, I think a lot of people here in Australia think, oh, we're so far out of the way, it doesn't matter. And, you know, and particularly in the little town I'm in, there's just no way it's going to get blown up. No, no. What they don't understand is if, if this thing takes off, They'll be boop, 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 blowing up all over the place. Yeah, that that shit goes into the atmosphere, the upper atmosphere actually, and eventually wanders around the world, you know, and then falls. <laughs> so yeah, it, it could have been a war three years ago, and then you're getting rained on by radiation, <laughs> and we all know what radiation does. But I, I don't think people have any comprehension of the, of the seriousness of it or the, the horror that a third world war would bring. Uh, you know, and, and it's, it's just the complacency and, and oh, the joking attitude. <laughs> I mean, I've just, you know, I, I think people generally uh, uh, believe that it, uh, they won't, they, whoever they are, won't let it happen. The truth is, they are making it happen. Um, yeah, but they won't let it happen, and ah, it'll never happen. Uh, you know, the, the normalcy bias. Uh, I, I'm afraid, I think, you know, if cause when I take Captain Bob's comment in, yeah, you know, they just keep, yeah, their, their opinion is right until you give up or you're dead. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's the regime we're in, you know, and it's, it's, there's no, so there's no reason to, discount you know, nuclear war because I think you could easily get there very quickly actually yeah anyway it's been good talking to you and I'll talk to you again soon I have to go out and look after the magpies again there they're hungry again they say I think they're actually just practicing their warbling but oh well why not we'll give them something to eat see ya